All right, hey everybody, PC Addict 365 here with you, and today we're going to be taking a look at what is VSync on uh, PC gaming. What does it mean? Um, first off, I'll go into the options here and show you the graphic options. I'm running a GTX 680 Superclocked Edition. So first off, we have VSync enabled. Um, so it is turned on. It's on uh, double buffer. Um, the graphic settings, the quality, I got them on normal so that our frame rate will be high enough to give you this example of what video sync actually does. Okay, so I'll explain it to you while I am running the benchmark here. So this is with VSync turned on. Okay, so what VSync basically is, is like if your monitor has a refresh rate of like 60 hertz, the most frames per second it can display is 60 frames per second. Um, so basically what VSync does is if your graphics card can render, say, this game here at like 120 frames per second or even higher, um, it'll sit there and basically tell your graphics card not to render those extra frames because it's just wasting its power. So VSync will actually stabilize, try and stabilize your frame rate at that 60 frames per second to make it a, a smoother experience um, graphically. Basically so you're not wasting frame rate is pretty much what it comes to. So as you can see, demo should be almost, or benchmark should be almost done. So our frame rate should be right around 60 frames per second. Okay, there you see average frame rate 59.9, max 60.2, minimum 46. So it's trying to stabilize everything right around 60 frames per second because the GTX 680 is capable of rendering this scene at much higher frame rates but basically video sync is telling it hey that's a waste don't do it okay so now if we go in and we'll uh, turn VSync off you'll see what the difference is alright so here's VSync we'll turn it off apply the settings back out of there and we'll run the benchmark one more time okay you guys can't see it but in my uh, upper left hand corner of the window uh, my recording software is showing me it's running at 150 frames per second right now 152 frames per second and it just skipped right through her. That's lovely. But so basically now the frame rate should be a lot higher. <coughs> the frame rate should be a lot higher and basically what it's saying is pretty much my graphics card is rendering out a bunch of useless frames that I don't need. So if you're getting over 60 frames per second in a game like steady all the time, I would say turn VSync on. But however, if you're playing a game and you're only getting, uh, say, like 30 frames per second, 20 frames per second, uh, turn VSync off. That way you can uh, render out as many frames as you want. Because if you're not getting the max 60 frames per second and you have VSync on, Basically, it's going to make your game like more choppy and not as smooth because it's trying to sync everything up, but it can't. So as you can see here, with it turned off, um, average is running at 160 frames per second. So it makes a big difference. So basically, if you're over 60 frames per second, turn VSync on. That way it stabilizes everything, but if you're running under 60 frames per second, uh, just turn it off. Alright, hope that uh, explains what video sync is, guys. Um, favorite, like, share, and subscribe, and PC Addict 365, we'll see you later.